Mm. Peter Dinklage is pissed. Why? This is the first I've heard of such things. You may be asking yourself in a very bizarre voice. Well, because Disney is going ahead and making a live action version of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Recently, the Game of Thrones star was on a podcast and he was celebrating the House of Mouse in their recent casting of Rachel Zegler as Snow White. He says, and I quote, Literally no offense to anyone. That's how Hollywood people talk. They say literally a lot. But I was a little taken aback when they were very proud to cast a Latina actress as Snow White. But you're still telling the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Take a step back and look at what you're doing there. It makes no sense to me. You are progressive in one way, but then you're still making that fucking backwards story about seven dwarves living in a cave together? What the fuck are you doing, man? Have I done nothing to advance the cause for my soapbox? I guess I'm not loud enough. Be still my beating heart. I apologize for the salty language. Uh, Peter's pissed. And I fully back him and his sentiments of why are you redoing this movie? Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs sucks. It's like the one of the worst Disney movies to begin with. Why do it in the crappy live action way that hasn't worked yet? Oh, they make a ton of money, that's why. As far as the seven dwarves thing is concerned, I honestly didn't know those were humans. I thought it was a kind of a fairy tale thing where they were creatures more so than human beings that were that were small. I, I, I guess I'm wrong. I don't know, I really don't know. I don't want the movie made because Disney seems like they're creatively bankrupt at this point. What, the, all they do is they cart out all these old properties, all these old hits, and just keep remaking them. But Disney was listening. They heard Dinklage loud and clear, and they already put out a statement. Mickey says, Ha ha, to avoid reinforcing stereotypes from the original animated film, we are taking a different approach with these seven characters, and we've been consulting with members of the dwarfism community. Ha ha, we look forward to sharing more as the film heads into production after a lengthy development period. I didn't even know there was a dwarfism community. I'm personally not in any communities myself. If I were to be in one, it would probably be the like, sad middle-aged man still on YouTube trying to get some views uh, community. It's a larger pool than you think. So yes, Disney said they're no longer doing Snow White and the Seven Dwarves to be more progressive, to be more mature. They're doing Snow White and the Seven Black Guys. That's not true. And to be fair, that would probably also be a remake as well. If it doesn't already exist, I got some pitching to do to Pornhub. Just think of the porn name possibilities. You could have Slappy, Spunky, Sticky, Icky, Sloppy. The list goes on. I should really do some research after this video and, and see if that video exists. It is nice that Disney can just like hook a left instantly when someone gets offended though. Really showing there's a vision for this film. It's gonna be top tier. I can just feel it in my bones. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really looking forward to Snow White and the non-binary magical creatures and where to find them when it comes out. Let me know your thoughts on this gripping story in the comments below. Like the video if you had a good time. Subscribe if you haven't. I put all sorts of movie content on this channel now, and hopefully I'll see you around. Thanks again for watching the video. If you really like what I'm doing, maybe think about contributing on Patreon for just $1 a month, saying, hey, Adam, you know what? You mean a dollar's worth to me. Here you go. Or you can become a member right here on YouTube via that join button. It's just a, just a press or a click or a touch away, and you're in. You're in, it sounded like. We're gonna move on.